Yo, 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 thanks for tuning in to the 30th episode of J Talks Crypto. And in this episode, what am I going to be doing? I don't really know. I've been getting a lot of comments and a lot of views on the Apollo BTC Future Bit video. So, um, maybe I'm going to just talk about that. Um, I will say that I kind of been, I kind of changed my setup. Uh, previously, before when I had to make videos, I couldn't have my miners running while I was recording because the mic that I have was too sensitive. Um, and then it was also like all on my desk, but I've recently changed the location of my miners. Um, so you might hear them in the background while I figure things out. I actually, uh, I didn't do too much audio check on this one just because I wanted to get the video up. I'm already late on this week. Um, but I've been getting a lot of comments and uh, a lot of people are getting their shipments, uh, for, for batch two, batch two squad. What up? Um, I actually got a, a standard unit. Uh, I actually got two standard units. So, um, I was kind of waiting on getting the second standard unit. I already got the first one. Uh, but you know, I'm going to, I'm trying to, trying to max it out, get the full, get the full setup. But um, it's probably coming, I think, in another two days. So I was just like, yo, you should wait to make the video. But, like, you know, someone else commented today. So I'm just kind of like, all right, whatever. Just make it today. It doesn't really matter. Like, that's kind of like the, the beautiful thing about not doing, like, advertising shit. It's just, like, you can do, do shit whenever the fuck you want. And you're, like, on nobody else's schedule. And then, like, whatever. <clears throat> anyway, Apollo BTC. How has it been running? Uh, I published the first video about the Apollo BTC about a month ago. It was July 5th and it's now, no, actually it's almost two months ago now. Um, it, it's J August 31st. Um, what, what has changed? Okay, so uh, it's, been, it's been running great. <laughs> uh, almost no issues. Uh, sometimes it is a little bit finicky. You do gotta reset it a couple of times. Uh, it's not something, like technically, like, like most of the time I can just set it and forget it. I'm, I'm always messing around with it. Um, before when I first got it, I just like overclocked it to the absolute max. And then I was like, let me chill out a little bit. Let me, you know, just in case if, uh, like, you know, I can get like a longer life out of it. I was just kind of like, let me, let me, let me rotate it around a little bit. So what I've been doing is kind of like overclocking on the weekends. And then like throughout, uh, most of the week, I just leave it unbalanced. Um, with the, before I, like someone made a comment saying, uh, what, what, what's up with the hardware errors? Uh, I still do get those occasionally. Um, it kind of ranged from after the over the air update, I felt like they kind of went down a little bit. I don't know if it was just in my head. Um, I didn't do any kind of like super hard documentation, uh, on it. It didn't affect mining. So I didn't give a fuck. Uh, that's kind of like where I saw it. Uh, the, the advertised hash rate. Uh, that, like the hash rate that I was getting on the dashboard was the exact same hash rate that I was getting or it was like within 5% or something like that uh, in slush pool. So I was happy with it um, to kind of like give an update on profitability on this thing. I kind of give the prices. I know I know like a lot of people don't like this, uh, but I don't I don't care. Uh, <laughs> the 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 way I kind of like give that my hash rate price, it's kind of like uh, a little bit weird. Because I kind of, by the time you watch this video, it might change. Uh, you, you never know if like all those Chinese miners that just ki came offline and come back online all of a sudden immediately, and um, just raise the difficulty. Um, and I don't think it's going to happen, but that theoretically can. And then like maybe you're watching this video like really, really far out into the, into the future, and like you you actually kind of want to calculate the price in a decent way, uh, and you're and you want to use like a similar pool or something. I don't know. This is what I'm getting. Uh, I've noticed. So, so when I first got it, when the I, and I started mining, uh, the difficulty went down like crazy. Um, <clears throat> I was prob like like around then. Uh, we were. I don't want to talk about profitability. Yeah. All right. Whatever. Um, I guess around the time when I made the the initial video, I was getting around 120 satoshis uh, per terahash per block found. And I guess I was averaging, we were like averaging, I forgot what, the, what, the, what it was exactly. But I imagine it was like uh, like like eight blocks a day, seven or eight blocks a day. Now we're getting probably a closer an average to like 
like five to eight blocks a day but you know it's it's like some day like you know i think like two three days ago like we just had like some crazy amount of blocks like 11 blocks or some shit like that so uh it all varies um because a couple more people did start mining on slush before my reward per terahash was like around 120 satoshis per terahash i actually think I, at some points even got to like 130 satoshis uh per terahash uh now i'm getting uh, approximately like 105 satoshis per terahash is what i checked last time um and the reason why i kind of give the prices like that is because i don't know if you're running it on eco i don't know if you're running it unbalanced i don't know if you're running it on uh you know overclocked with your own settings so that way you can kind of like gauge if you're running it on eco then you know you're you're probably getting like two terahashes so you'd probably get uh 200 satoshis per block found and if you find uh six blocks in a day then that's uh like 1200 satoshis for that day and then like if it was like you had it at three terahashes on turbo for example um <clears throat> that would be like three uh, essentially like 300 satoshis per block found in the day and if you find like five blocks that's a uh, 1500 satoshis so you you essentially get like an extra 300 satoshis uh, per day by overclocking a little bit or something like that. Um, <clears throat> it's been running fine. I have absolutely no problems running it at all. Um, I can't really complain. They do. Uh, they do run a little hot uh, in the sense that like it's a freaking miner. Um, they're probably running at hotter temperatures than what you're probably used to. Like my reported temperatures range depending on like the settings that I'm, r I'm running them in. I would say anywhere from like 43 degrees Celsius to like 70 degrees Celsius. Uh, generally speaking, they haven't really gone much higher than that. And uh, yeah, like um, with the hardware errors, like I said, I think they uh, they, they went down a little bit uh, with the over the air update. I did feel like uh, with the over the air update, uh, thankfully I didn't run into any issues. Uh, it just updated like more or less fine. Uh, I did I, I did say I added a standard unit um, I noticed that like when adding the standard unit sometimes the uh, the full node the full package one won't recognize it immediately so I like have to like start like do some weird, weird like turning on and off cycles in order to get it like to uh, turn on properly <clears throat> the trick that I figured out on how to like start this thing uh, with no issues and mine like I, you know just now like I've mined successfully already for two days with the standard unit attached uh, with no restarts or anything like that what I do is I turn off the node and then I restart the unit with uh, the proper settings that I want and then when the uh, once you uh, reboot the system uh, everything kind of like turns on the node starts to sync again and then it's at the settings that you want them to, to be uh, sometimes what happens is that you'll click start and only one of them will mine and then the, so it's like it says hashboard one is uh, working but hashboard two is not um, and it's like sometimes like the lights flash on both so I'm just kind of like what's going on but hopefully that will get solved with the, with the over the air update that goes smooth uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what else to say. It just keeps going. <laughs> um, I'm, let me go through some of these comments. Big DWZ, you're paying just to test mining functionality, and you're saying you're not losing. That's not actually accurate. Now it costs seven ninety nine for the Apollo BTC. Uh, to run running twenty one giga hashes earns earns around eight dollars monthly. At that rate, it'll take over twelve years to just pay off the unit. Get a cheap Moolander too if you want to test mining. Um, bro, I'm not going to be disrespectful. I disagree. Uh, <laughs> that's um, what it costs now for the full package. Uh, you're, you're doing a completely unfair comparison on the device, in my opinion. Um, you're over here like... <laughs> I wrote it. Where'd I begin? Uh, you're just analyzing profitability for something that's not designed for profit. You're taking the $800 piece, right? Uh, why are you using that $800 figure to, like, you know, base your business business off of? 
like if i'm gonna build a business i'm not gonna freaking go to like the highest cost supplier and use the highest freaking uh cost merchandise to to try to turn a profit so you kind of look like already you don't know what you're talking about um secondly you're using the lowest settings like 21 giga hashes and then you're saying uh like eight dollars monthly i don't even know and care to look up what electricity rate you're looking at but if you can't turn a profit bro that's on you it's not on the device the device just hashes uh and it's up to you to get to 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 like like you know i feel like he offers it at a at a decent price if you're just trying to hash and just get the standard unit and get a raspberry pi and or get a or learn to code and like <laughs> like run it on linux because that's what you're looking at um and and even then it's like if your your point is like so just straight up profit like and your budget is around 500 bucks you're better off getting an a, a, an s9 and underclocking it uh i don't really want to do that because that's like older hardware it's less efficient hardware um and you know like a lot like this stuff is assembled and made in america uh i kind of support that i think it's really really freaking cool that like you know there's american miners like trying to do shit but this product is for a different kind of person uh <clears throat> and then you know you're and then you're over here like saying get a cheap moonland moonlander too it's like that's a script miner like this is the sat stacking channel the only thing that we do on this channel with script moonlander miners is we buy them cheap as hell and we flip them to buy bitcoin or to offset bitcoin uh component costs all right anyway this video is getting kind of long uh if you don't already know like comment subscribe i really i really really hate asking uh we are doing uh, little giveaways we are almost at 100 subscribers somehow i don't know why you guys are subscribing but i appreciate it um we're gonna be doing a little t-shirt giveaway i'm still not sure how i'm gonna arrange that I'm probably gonna do like a future video where it's just like, yo, if you comment on this video, like you're entered, and we'll we'll figure it out. <laughs> it will be like a collaborative collaborative effort. I'll probably look something up. I'll I'll, I'll clarify it in the future. Um, and then if we ever get to a thousand subscribers, this open dime that's been sitting on my desk for like ever, will go finally goes to somebody. Anyway, this is JTalk Crypto, and I'm signing off. Yo, 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 thanks for tuning in to the 30th episode of J Talks Crypto. And in this episode, I'm going to be talking about the Apollo BTC. A lot of people probably just got their units in. So um, there's a lot of questions, stuff like that. So 